youtube and welcome to my channel kingsley hair company um today i am going to be doing a handmade unit i do not know how to use a sewing machine yet so i gotta make it by hand so um i have my dome head my uh my stand it's 22 inches this is average head size um i have my t-pins to hold the uh the dome cap down I also have my closure, compliments of Kingsley Hair Company. This is a, she wants a bob unit. So I got a 12 inch and I'm about to begin. So um, I got a black cap. When I put the, uh, when I put the dome cap on the mannequin i just put it on do not scratch that thing out or it will be too big just let it be how it's going to be because you do not want it too big you do not want it too small just put it on there and if it needs to scratch out on her head it'll scratch out but i try to line these lines up So I try to line my lines up. Um, so I stuck it on, try to line my lines up. Um, I will start by putting one T-pin T -pin in the back. First, so I'm gonna put the closure on. And when you put the closure on, it comes up a little past this line right here so i'm gonna put my closure on i'm gonna slide it's at the hairline now it's above at now it's above so i'm gonna come a little up and i'm gonna place my t-pins on the side Okay, so I brought the closure a little up on each side. Try to make sure it's even. And I will put one T-pin right here on the back to hold it down. Okay, and let's begin to sew. Okay, so my next step is outlining. I like the outline. Like I like, um, you, you need some type of outline method. And if you don't have a marker, use your, um, use your T-pens. But yeah, I'm about to outline this unit. So my first set of bundles should come up right here. My second set should be between here. Okay, that's good. So I outline where my bundles should hit. My first bundle should start right, should hit up here, so that I make sure that it's not all bunched up in the back. My next set, and that's my top bundles. Like I said, if I did not have my marker, I would definitely put my T pins in the same exact spots, cause that's how I did it before. You know, I got my marker and got my leg together. Cause it plus I just work smarter. 
not harder harder i'm about to put these bundles in i still have to color these bundles and we got a long road ahead. so i have the bundles that she wants me to make into a wig this is my client's hair it feels like pretty good hair it looks pretty shiny somebody previously already colored the ends so i know it can live so this could be my bottom bundle middle bundle top bundle plus she got some bundles over here in case i run out she got like a lot of little pieces So let me start and I'll see y'all in a minute. Okay, so YouTube, I finished sewing this wig together. I literally just sewed it together. This is my closure. Show you these stitches because these stitches, these stitches are serious. So let me show you this stitch. Stitch getting crazy. Hold up now. Why did I say that? Yeah, so that's my stitch game right there. Stitch game crazy. And like I said, this is the closure from Kingsley Hair Company. Um, these bundles come from somewhere else. Um, she is, is cutting these bundles into a bob. So I don't know why my camera not focusing. But yeah, she cutting these um, bundles into a bob. And But this is day one. This is it for the day. Tomorrow, I go ahead and cut the hair, bleach the knots, and um, bleach the hair like she would like. I just constructed this unit by hand. Let's see, I just constructed this unit by hand. These bundles are from my client. She provided her own bundles. So I just constructed this unit. Hold on, let me show you how to stitch in. Like, stitch game amazing. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. But yeah, so I just constructed this unit. Um, she expressed she would like it colored, the tips, and she would like it cut into a bob that brisk her shoulders. Um, right now, I'm just about to cut the hair up, about to right here. So when she get it, if it need to be cut up a little bit more, that's fine. But you know, I cannot waste product coloring the whole end of this. So I'm about to do it right now and pre-cut it. I'm gonna put my cap, even though it's a brand new cap or whatever. I'm put my um my new cap on for sanit sanitation purposes. Too long. Oh, it's perfect. <sighs> so I got. So I'm gonna do this. Got this grid to follow. Follow the grid again. So this is the bob cut. This is not the final cut, of course, but it's so I won't waste product while I am, um, you know, dyeing the hair because she wants the hair dyed. So, and it comes below my shoulders, so I don't have to worry about uh, if it gets on her head. She said, "Oh, that's too um, you know, this is too short. I can always cut it shorter, you know, but I can't make short hair longer." So. That's something to remember and keep in mind. Always make your client's hair longer 
than they request. So just in case it's a little discrepancy, you got a little bit of inch. You got some inches that you can, you know, grow. Um, this has been my Ted. This has been my Ted talk.